politicians are always looking for music to get their messages across. And for the Clintons, the right song was, well, from right here. Right here, right now. Right Here, Right Now was a song by the band Jesus Jones, which captured the spirit of the time as change swept across Europe at the end of the 80s. I did feel that there was a sense of optimism in the world. I mean, it was very much inspired by the end of the Iron Curtain. I would never imagined I would see the Berlin Wall come down in my lifetime, and it happened so quick. So it was a fascinating time to be alive. Despite being written here in London, its positive message was picked up by American Democrats who used the song as a rallying cry in two US elections. As a band, Jesus Jones took many of their influences from American street culture, on which they put their own UK spin, including the fashion. Ian was one of the first band members in the history of rock music to be employed because of his shoes. Yeah. I was, I was in a pub nearby and happened to look at the floor at one moment. I saw a pair of shoes that could only have been worn by a skater. But back then it was, it was like a sort of a, a, a visible badge to a, a membership of a secret society. Once you found somebody like that, it was, right, you skate, let's skate together then. Although we made light of it, it was, it was important that we had a kind of strong vision, this, this vibe, this kind of attitude. Right Here, Right Now was written at Mike's former flat in Dollis Hill. That full was a storage room. Where full we of could... amps and guitars. And then behind the living room was Mike's bedroom. Day jobs by day, working on music by night. It was a typical struggling musician thing. Writing songs in that room to get us out of that room. You know, that, that was the key thing for me. So was it very much a sort of eat music Skate, sleep. Yeah, yes. that's exactly it. That's exactly. I think there's some drinking involved. Yeah, some drinking, some going to gigs. It's yeah. really simple, <laughs> really fun, and it all happened in there. Mike wanted to do a spin on a track by Prince called "Sign of the Times," using samples from a range of different sources. Musically, I was always trying to combine things. The sampler was very new in those days. That was crucial to what we did. I liked the idea of. Um, the musical magpie thing, where you, you just kind of grab little elements of stuff and you add it as like you add spices to food. I had a demonstration disc that came with a sample that had a really good brass sample, so I thought, right, better use that because it's anything that sounds any good. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's brought along one of the earliest versions of the track, which Mike hasn't heard for over 20 years. The guitar's a bit different. Quite a lot different. Ah, there's a demonstration <laughs> There you go. It sounds joyful. How, how did you capture that? God knows, because that's not me, is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brass is always quite, it's brash. It's, it's kind of, ta-da, here I am. There's something about that that works and that lifts the song. Here in the UK, Right Here, Right Now only reached number 31 in the charts, but it was a huge hit in America helped by some high-profile fans. But some sort of request was sent through to say, look, just to let you know, Bill Clinton is thinking about using this song. But then Hillary came back and said, oh, can I use it? You think, have they got any other CDs in the car, the Clintons? In the current political climate, how do you think this song fits now? The song couldn't have been written within the last year or so. Whether it's Donald Trump, whether it's Brexit, whether it's climate change, I think that the response now would be, like, have you read a newspaper? Mm -hmm. But the band still love playing the song live, and today Mike's giving us a special performance back at the skate park where the band used to meet. I saw the decade in when it seemed the world could change the blink of an eye. And if anything, then there's your sign. Of the times I was alive. The feeling of joy that I get when I play it, it is the same as the feeling of joy I had when I was writing it. It takes me back in a way that's not a nostalgia for that time, but just brings up those same happy feelings. The song's about the power of optimism. It's quite a nice lift for the soul when you play it live to be reminded of positivity. And, you know, that's not just for us. I think that works for the audience too. Right here, right now, watching the world wake up. Never too old to skate. <laughs>